Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. Um, today I'm just gonna be getting ready, like doing my makeup um, and just talking to you guys, whether it's about books or whatever, but probably like book updates. You can see my lovely books up there, like my little setup. Um, if you missed my last video where I fixed my book cart and I rearranged that as well, pause this one, go watch it, come back, see if you wanted to come back and watch this one, yay! <laughs> But I am just going to be doing my makeup and chit-chatting as well. So I'm off to a potential interview, a job interview, um, for like a host position at like a restaurant. So I'm considering it for just like a part-time position, but we're going to see how that, how that plays out. So I have Makeup Forever's um, HD Skin Foundation. So the first time I tried this in Sephora because I've just been eating a new foundation, I fell in love with this one and you honestly don't even need that much. And we're gonna go in with the e.l.f. Beauty Blender, like their sponge. I forgot the exact name of it. Uh, wait, this one. Total Face Sponge Duo. There you go. My sister put me on this because she is a makeup guru. But we already washed my face, we already moisturized and and all that. I just forgot sunblock. Put sunblock on. <laughs> so my current book read is Anxious People by Frederick. I don't know his last name, I'm so sorry. But he wrote the book, um, A Man Called Of, 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 I don't know how it's supposed to be pronounced, or Otto, no, the movie is Otto, I don't even know why they changed the name, but it's the movie that's gonna be, that is out or coming out soon with Tom Hanks, and I love Tom Hanks, he's my Woody, forever, Toy Story is my favorite movie, by the way, <laughs> besides Beauty and the Beast, but like Pixar movie, it's definitely Toy Story. But Anxious People is going fantastic. I am completely and utterly in love with this man's writing. And I'm probably like, <laughs> if you know me, I am very exaggerative and dramatic. But I feel like when it comes to books and writing, I explain it that way because I am just too in love with words. And the way people phrase words together is what makes me fall in love with reading. Obviously, like you're telling a story, but the way you're telling the story is what makes me fall in love with your book and you as an author. And whether or not you're selected like on my list of like favorite books or not. So it has to be memorable and there has to be something unique about your writing. And that's why I think writing is one of the hardest jobs. But it really is unique writing. It it reminds me of storytelling as far as like a play because the story is basically about a guy who we don't even know his name right now. And he's identified as the bank robber. The bank robber went to <laughs> It's so funny to explain. Went to rob a bank, but ended up in a apartment that these people were viewing. So now it became like a hostage situation, unintentionally. So <laughs> I understand that the title of this book being Anxious People because you meet a, like so many different characters that it's not very difficult to keep up with, but they are first identified as a type of person and then you get to know the characters and their names. So you have like the bank robber, you have the real estate agent, you have the policeman, you have the older policeman, and slowly they unravel their identities. And it's basically how they are all connected to being in this hostage situation from the bank robber who unintentionally wanted this to happen. It's like, it's insane and it's whimsical. It's so witty and I'm in love with this man's writing. He's literally telling it like a play to me. 
like I'm reading it in my mind as a play or like a narrator overseeing these characters like I'm very curious how they um did the Netflix show because I know that there's like a show or a movie I want to say it's a series so like I'm very curious and I kind of want to read his other books because of the way he writes them but I heard like this one is the better one or like the best one um so we'll see but I am enjoying it I read it on my way to work every morning I try reading before I go to bed I just believe in reading before bed is so much better than like scrolling on your phone there's like this thing that they say like the light from the screen on your phones is what makes you struggle to like sleep at night so if you guys want to try to improve your sleeping i suggest either just limiting your screen time or reading a book <laughs> or maybe on the kindle you know the kindle has a different kind of light as opposed to like the phones that's just what i've heard but that's my current read and I am really enjoying it. So I can't wait to talk about it more once I finish it. Maybe if I have time to write about it or if I'm not, you know, editing a video. So as far as my YouTube journey so far, I am having so much fun. Um, literally, I'm just doing it for myself. If you are watching and, and enjoying it, thank you so much. Um, I'm just gonna blend in my, my little foundation more because I have OCD and I, can, I need to blend it like so many damn times but yeah I want to do more videos like this I want to do maybe like a Q&A if anybody you know it responds to a little box on Instagram reading vlogs if I have a day or time to like go book shopping stuff like that like I have ideas it's just you know distributing them and making it happen so this is like my background and i have like all of my hardcovers up there little statues Groot i have Groot he's my favorite from guardians of the galaxy guardians of the galaxy is my favorite marvel movie but as far as like my favorite marvel hero it's captain america all day every day i don't have my ring on i have the Thanos ring that i saw all over tiktok and i needed it immediately like my sister knows that story. <laughs> um, and yeah, just little statues and pictures of my friends and families and whatnot. And I have like three little, I didn't put them there on purpose. They fell from that one. <laughs> but this was actually my last read. All the bright people, not, oh, not all the bright, woo, girl. <laughs> all Good People Here by Ashley Flowers. And if you don't know who Ashley Flowers is, she created crime junkie and it is a podcast about crime and, and stories and probably unsolved stories and true crime and if they are solved all the above anything that has to do with crime that's her so i did enjoy that book i think i gave it like my personal rating is a four out of five stars but i also like really have to sit down and do my review on that as well just so many things on this agenda this is a Gilmore Girls Dragonfly zipper daisies yellow daisies makeup bag that my sister gave me as a gift and it came with this Gilmore Girls Chilton one and I'm obsessed with them because Gilmore Girls is my favorite show like it, it falls in those you know everyone has the same favorite shows Gilmore Girls New Girl The Office Friends like I have new girl playing in the other room and I'm not even sitting in there. <laughs> so background noise for the win. But now we are just going to, <gasps> this was, I did not close this all the way. Okay. Tarte's Creaseless Concealer. Um, I feel like this is my first time doing makeup and a video at the same time. So I'm kind of out of my element. <laughs> so just bear with me, but I use this under my eyes and on top of my eyelids. So this will be the fast forwarding section of the video. Wow. 
what is next for my reads? Um, let's see. After Anxious People, I'm gonna go into Book Lovers by Emily Henry. Cause that one I hear really good things about. And I'm just honestly in love with number one, the title. <laughs> okay, number two, the story itself. I don't know if it, it's supposed to be similar to love and other words. I don't know. I think the concept is these two people working together or being in love with books as the title calls them. But um, Emily Henry is a very popular author and I can see why. I mean, like I said in my first video, I think I mentioned it, um, how people we meet on vacation is an enjoyable read, but it wasn't my favorite. And it's so weird because people, some people like that one more than beach read and I'm the one that falls into the category of liking beach read more than people we meet on vacation. But here's why I didn't like it. And I'll try to keep it spoiler free, but I just felt like the, the build up for what happened between these two people that lost touch with each other over the years was like the actual event that happened that made them distant was not that big of a deal. So the buildup of leading to that, I was like, when that all that happened, I was just like, I closed my book and I was like, that's it? <laughs> so it's not to this, uh, oh, I hit my necklace. It's not to discredit Emily Henry as an author. You know, I thought the way she writes is um, pretty straightforward and it is beautiful at the same time. Beach read I thought was an absolute beautiful read. But just the build up to what happened with those two characters in, the, in that specific story, I was just like, that's it, girl, come huh. on. Not that big of a video. Maybe it is to some people. <sighs> that is a lot. I'm just going in with um, this loose face powder. This is like the best one apparently my sister is who got me into doing my makeup in the first place and let me tell you this story getting off track of books but that's okay you guys are going to know me so back in the day my sister is like two or three years older than me <laughs> um she would watch youtube beauty videos I would not watch YouTube beauty videos. I would watch Shane Dawson videos and other things that like my friends and I were into at the time. Like I was never on the beauty side of YouTube. I was just on comedy side. So basically I saw her doing makeup and I, we, I would hang out in her room and she would just have these videos on. So I'm like, even when they were vlogs, I would never even watch vlogs. It had nothing to do with makeup, but even vlogs. So like I got into that just by watching her watching it. Cause I was just like, who are these people? Why do their lives look and seem so interesting? What is it about it that's working? <laughs> so I think I, I started asking her like, who's this girl? Who's this girl? And I would subscribe to them and then understand why you know, haul videos and favorites were so addicting to watch. And then my sister would do my makeup or stuff like that for me or other people all the time. And here I am, I'm just like, I'm never gonna be like her. I'm never gonna do that. <laughs> yada, yada, yada. And here I am years, years, years later doing my makeup. And it's, I've, I've always done like simple, like foundation, concealer, blush, eyebrows, mascara, if that's even simple to y'all. Like, I don't do all of that eyeshadow stuff unless I'm going to like a wedding or like a party or something. That's it. Like, I don't, I don't even go that hard with like blending and all the eyeshadow. I'm just so like, let me stick to my neutral colors because I'm scared to make myself look like I have a black eye. And here I am with just palettes on palettes on palettes in my drawer. But 
here I am basically, you know, I don't, oh yeah, we would go to like, like the beauty events together, like beauty con. Um, I would want to meet like the people that I started watching. Like I found my own audience of like, um, not audience. I'm sorry. I found my own influencer that I wanted to watch. Alicia Marie is my all time favorite one, especially like specifically her vlogs. Like she's my ride or die vlogger. So when she was there for beauty con or like any other events, I would want to try to meet her, but it was sold out. So I couldn't meet her and her sister is cool too. I would love to meet her too. But who I got to meet was Gabby. I met Gabby from the Nikki and Gabby twins um, in Jersey Gardens Mall one year. I want to meet Nikki because she seems so fucking chill, like the complete opposite, like cool or just like their aesthetic is opposite. But, you know, they're their own person. But I would watch Sierra Furtado, um, Mia, like all of them and Alicia's like group of friends. So Ingrid, I absolutely loved Ingrid Nielsen. Um, and like so many other people, Casey, Jacqueline Hill, like my sister got me into the older ones and like I was following people who were, were around my age. So, and then we met everyone at like uh, IMADS, oh my God, IMADS, like events they don't even have anymore. Like what? <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't know if I'm showing my age, but yeah, so my sister got me into doing my makeup as what sisters are there for. So that's the story. Um, but Alicia Marie vlogs, I'm telling y'all, she is so good. Like she is one of my content, video, whatever the case may be, like inspirations. Like she's just awesome. I just want to meet her. Yeah. But now I'm going to go into my eyebrows as this like um, sets into my face. It's the e.l.f. Wow Brow Gel in the shade Neutral Brown. This literally just when I don't even do my makeup every day, I will literally just put my eyebrows on. That's it. Like from the house bunny, she said the eyes are the nipples of the face and it's just so true. And like, I used to hate my eyebrows. I used to really, really hate them. Like I just thought they were way too bushy. I thought at one point I would get a, a unibrow and I'm just glad that never happened. But no, as we, went into trends and everything else in this world. Thick eyebrows are now the thing. Thin eyebrows were the thing in like the 90s. Now everybody wants my eyebrows. And I don't mean to sound like that. I just mean the type of eyebrows that I have. Everybody wants thick brows. So even if they don't do much as far as like filling in, at least they're getting, um, brushed so to speak plumping mascara i don't put a lot of mascara just because it hits my glasses but they need i need to look like i am awake more than i feel now so yes back to books <laughs> um yes book lovers will be my next read and emily henry's beach read if you saw my first video you saw that that was like my, one of my favorite books in 2022 I think it works perfectly all year long. And I know I read it in the summer because obviously it's called beach read. So like that is a good beach read or summer read. Um, but I think it is more realistic than people we meet on vacation. That's how I feel, especially the main character, January, for her um, character's story. It, the way she wrote it was very, very more realistic than people we meet on vacation. That's why I prefer it more than people we meet on vacation. Even though um, Poppy, if I remember her name correctly, in, in people we meet on vacation, literally has my dream job. Like she's a job. She's a blog blogger, travel blogger, like all the above of everything I want to do. So like for me, what I would like to do, I have my own blog as far as the books link down below oh, everything is falling <laughs> just don't hit my glasses i'm so paranoid with my glasses so now we have party <laughs> blush from tarte
um i just i always like to add more spray and highlight so you can see me glow baby and oh my god i do love kylie's products especially when like the very beginning all her lipsticks and sets would come out the holiday sales me and my sister we would just be on that like holy shit this is just a video dedicated to my sister because i know she's watching <laughs> so hello i don't know how my makeup looks she'll critique me later that is my face pretty much that was my get ready with me crazy rambling um session let's put my glasses back on some of it was book related, some of it was just all over the place, but you're getting to know me, so, and my books. <laughs> so, thank you guys for watching, thank you for letting me ramble as you play me either in the background or specifically, like, seriously watching. That's the goal, like, I want to be someone's, um, someone's go-to, like, book booktuber. Like how Alicia Marie is my go-to Christmas vlogs or any of her vlogs. Alicia Marie. Being like Alicia Marie is the goal. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching. This is long and I'm going to edit it soon. But thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Check out my other videos just to get caught up. And follow me in everything that I put down below. If you want to see me, I'm better on Bookstagram. I'm definitely better on Bookstagram. <laughs> But I hope you have a fantastic day, night, evening, whatever time you're watching this. And I hope we get to talk soon. Bye!